Hi, and welcome to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about breastfeeding. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. My name is Kale Hauser. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, I wanted to um, talk about something today that may be a little bit of a sensitive subject breastfeeding. <laughs> and you may be going, well, wait a minute. Uh, I thought this was a leadership podcast. I thought this was focused on small business owners and entrepreneurs and how to get better leading teams and connecting to your teams. Why are we talking about something that appears to have nothing to do with that? Um, and I'll tell you uh, in a second. Because this concept of leadership, this concept of how to create connect, inspire small teams within a business setting or at home or at your church or in a charity or in your community has a lot of aspects to it. There's a lot of different facets to this whole concept. Um, there's not a one size fits all solution to every scenario. Uh, although there are certain guiding principles that will help you out in every, every scenario, i.e., remembering people's names and calling them by their name like hey kale nice to see you today oh joe fantastic how's your wife sally you know all those types of things and uh and i think i mentioned this before that i'll just get off a little side tangent with the whole name thing such an impact this can make if you can get to the level that you remember people's names. And I think there are actually programs out there that will help you with this. I know a buddy of mine in college uh, learned from a guy that went through this kind of visualization thing of when he'd meet new people and he'd hear their name, he'd associate that name with something happening to them because I think he was more of the visual learner type person like, like, oh, I met you know Nicholas. And he would envision nickels coming out of this guy's eyes like it was some like really stark contrasting in your face type of visualization and then whenever he would see this guy because he was better at recognizing faces he'd see him in the future and and see those nickels coming out and he goes oh nicholas right anyway that's the whole thing about the importance of remembering people's names and i know i had a previous commander that had ran into liz i told this story before ran into liz in the grocery store in our town where we were stationed and like you know, because it was a big deal. He was our commander, and I was fairly young in the officer ranks that, and newer to the squadron at that point. And he goes, hey, Liz, how are you doing? You know, and, and kind of just engaged her in the little chit-chat you do at the grocery store. And it was it made such an impression on her, like, holy smokes, Colonel so-and-so, like, not only knows me as somebody who works for him and works in his squadron, which takes a little bit of effort, but knows my wife enough to in a grocery store recognizes her recognizes what spouse she belongs to and then remembers her name and they had met like once before at a you know some sort of mixer or, or event that we were having at the squadron um, so it's pretty impressive and it makes a difference it makes an impact but we're going back to breastfeeding so i was on this training as i tend to do and i talked about it in an episode last week about variation and maybe i undertook a little too many trainings here or there and may have overbooked myself but it reached the end and conclusion of this training and they're doing this kind of q a session and they brought in this panel of it was a mix of people that worked with them and past clients that had had these successes right because they were you know they were selling their program at the end of it which is totally fine and it was it was cool they were, you know they were asking some questions and getting some engagement i'm like oh that's kind of neat like yep oh i was wondering about that and it was beneficial and then in the middle of it it was fascinating because the way the presentation was set up it was the speaker and behind them was like a 20 foot wall of of screens that they had the speakers that were remoted in because of course you know this is the day and age that we live in the speakers were remoted in so there were four windows huge windows we're talking probably like five by seven foot big screens that this bigger screen was chopped into with these four people and on one of them was this gal and they're talking about you know copywriting and video editing and all this different stuff and in the middle of it just randomly this little toddler comes walking into the screen and she picks the toddler up which okay you know that that happens um but it wasn't a you know hey go you know go to dad or go to sissy and or go you know get something to eat in the kitchen or go watch tv to i'm on this call or i'm doing this thing because this is like a 
a big deal. This was a big program that they were they were selling and, and working with. You know, she picks up the toddler, pulls back the shirt, and then the toddler starts breastfeeding. And I'm sitting there going, what is going on here right now? <laughs> this is a little bizarre. One, in today's day and age that we have full control of our cameras and our angles and stuff and where it would be absolutely appropriate to where she would could have brought the camera or even just moved closer to it, right? Uh, to put the frame of the camera maybe starting here and up to where, and she's obviously very comfortable with her body and, and breastfeeding is a very natural thing. I'm not saying that, that it shouldn't be done in public or anything, but there is a time and a place. There's a reason that at airports and different venues, there's a place to go do that because while you may be totally comfortable with what is essentially public nudity, <laughs> even though it's for a natural and perfectly good cause, uh, there's a time and place for it. And in my humble opinion, as a leadership consultant and somebody that would advise you if you were running into this situation, maybe on a ginormous screen when you're part of somebody else's program that you're helping them pitch and helping them promote, doing that to their audience isn't the time or the place, right? And it, it was so interesting because while what they had to say was important and the things they were discussing were important, it no longer mattered because now you just have this lady up there with one of her breasts, not hanging out, you know, in the in a blatant display, but now you've got this kid and just like any other distraction, it's a distraction. And why are you allowing it to happen? Especially at the critical moment of your entire program, you're crescendoing up to this, like this is our program that you we want to sell you and all this stuff and all that you've done so well over the, you know, days, hours, minutes, whatever it is that you've reached to that point and you allow something like that to just completely derail people's state of mind, their mentality, their focus, like everything. It just didn't make sense to me. And I even kind of put a comment of like, hey, I understand that, you know, breastfeeding is totally natural and it has to happen, but why is it happening here on my screen and on your program that I'm involved in that? I don't want to be involved in your breastfeeding journey. I don't want to be involved in that at all. I understand it happens. My wife did it. Yep, it happens all the time, but it has nothing to do with me. It is not beneficial to me whatsoever to see you doing that. So my little bit of rant, and maybe I'll take some heat for this, but maybe that's something reserved for the privacy of your own home. And I would absolutely argue that it is not reserved for being on a guest on somebody else's um, platform to do that, right? It would be kind of like, if you were a guest on somebody else's YouTube channel and then all of a sudden in the middle of it, you just, as a woman, you know, if you were a nursing mother, took out your breast and started doing that. Like, it's just not appropriate and it's inconsiderate in my opinion. But it got me thinking about as business owners, what and how do we determine what is appropriate or not? And there's, I'm not getting into the end of, hey, you've got employees, you know, you've got a, a new mother that's nursing and you need to provide a place for her to whether it be pump or, or breastfeed or all those types of things. And certainly in this era of remote work that is easier. And again, it would maybe be a conversation ahead of time like, hey, Carol, congratulations on your baby. We understand this is happening. You need to feed, a, you know, feed your child every however many minutes it is at that point in their life. But you know, when we do, if we happen to be on a meeting, you know, turn your screen off. It's totally okay, we understand. Or please make sure that it's up here because it is a distraction. I'm not arguing your right to do so, but it is a distraction to the business that we're trying to do that is unrelated to breastfeeding. Does that make sense? Am I totally crazy and off the rails with this myself? Or you know, is, is this kind of a common conception of, maybe breastfeeding in the middle of a business meeting isn't the best thing to do or the right culture to start creating. There are ways to support nursing mothers without having it be a distraction, without having it be something that derails what you've got going on in your business, all right? And if you are that nursing mother, obviously I've never been a nursing mother, I've lived with a nursing mother, um, there is a certain level of respect you need to give 
to the people that are providing you, whether it be a platform or a job or whatever that is that you may be on their service and talking to their audience, there needs to be some common courtesy, I will call it, and respect given to their audience that, you know, maybe that's not the appropriate thing to do and you need to bring that up ahead of time uh, and, and make allowances or considerations for that okay does that make sense i hope it does i hope it's i'm not trying to be you know a jerk about it or anything but it's really about understanding your audience and what you as the business owner who's driving this train uh does to cater to that audience okay and i'm just saying in this scenario in this training that i was in you know it wasn't about breastfeeding it wasn't about nursing mothers it wasn't about families it wasn't about anything of that it was about you know videos and and editing and things like that and i'm going it was just, it was just a little bizarre to be honest with you <laughs> so if you have a different opinion i would love to hear it um, i'm absolutely open to further understanding uh, outside of my limited view but all i can say is that in the moment it was a reaction of like this is bizarre uh, i am totally disengaged now from what they were saying because it's just a out of nowhere you know left versus right type of scenario where you're just like what is going on here and it, it was kind of over and I, i'm not necessarily saying it cost them the sale but I can see how it did in the form of people disconnect from that and they're disassociate, not disassociate in the terms of um, their, their train that you had been leading them on, the sales journey that you'd been leading them on just went <laughs> <laughs> because this out of left field, you know, the, the train robbers came and just derailed your whole train. So be cautious of that. There are ways to approach it. Don't be a, a jerk about it if this is you talking to a nursing mother in your organization. Um, but there are also ways that you can get around it and, and explain that, hey, this is not the appropriate time or place for that. Just like, you know, if there was a front desk receptionist that was a nursing mother, you wouldn't have that be, as people are coming into your business, the first thing they see, you would say, all right, you know, Jan or Carol or Sally, you know, if you need to do that, here's this room in the back to go do that and we'll get somebody to cover you know, your, your front desk duties type of thing because that's not what we want to present to our future clientele and our customer. Cool, Does that makes sense. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, keep a lookout, we've got some pretty cool things. I've got some pretty uh, interesting topics I think that should be beneficial for you as you're coming through some challenges and, and we've been talking with some clients that have some pretty unique challenges that I think are worthy of discussion. Um, and that we can all learn from. So as always, reach out, Kale at Cahauser Leadership. I would love to hear from you, see what you've got going on. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscription would be fantastic. And we'll talk to you soon, no matter where you're in the world. Have a fantastic afternoon. Bye.